Kyle Foster, what a start, averaging seven points coming into this game, but Foster already with 14, so doubling up the average. He's looking for a spot maybe on that all-tournament team, Chris. Oh, I mean, he's working at it, and he's got his team in great shape right now, and I love this zone. It's, they have played it well. They've rebounded extremely well out of it. Witness that play right there. Forcing shots from the corner. I mean, that's, uh, the coverage has been outstanding. And you know, for Kenny Blakeney, a guy who played for Mike Krzyzewski, a 2-3 zone is not his defensive choice. But you do what you, you can, you know, and. Foster again. Foster. Yeah, you bring up that, too. as an old coach, how much do you have to weigh that of saying, look, this is, are my principles, but this is what we need to do to win. Yeah, and another good job, good de defensive possession. The, 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 what is that old, the old line, the de definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, and you know, not working for you basically, and you just keep doing it. And so they've gone exclusively to that two, three. They've defended it well. They've ID'd shooters. And, the, and as they've experienced success, the level of activity has gotten so much better defensively. They're playing harder in the zone than they did in any of their man possessions the last couple of games. Miller from distance and rattles it home. It's three threes for him. And again, he's playing the power forward spot, much more of a four man than his normal three position. And you wonder if that's not a spot that's better suited for him. He's a big, strong kid. 6'6", six, six. listed at 202. He's got a great body on him, basketball body. Settle gets bumped off by Kolek and short on the shot. It's actually funny, we discussed this before, but he's actually from near my hometown, played on a very good public school team, Loudon Valley out in that area. But, uh, you know, at that level, a lot of those bigs go play at the private school. So yep. if you're a tall kid and you play public school ball, you're normally playing a three or a four or a five even sometimes. Well, I'm sure he was a nightmare matchup at public schools. I led them to a state championship. There's, I, I want to know if your jersey is hanging up in the Hall of Fame there. Good. Cut. Jordan Miller's might be. Mine definitely isn't. Back cut by Settle. <laughs> They're moving really well away from the basketball. And Kenny Blakeney does a lot of work on that in practice. We'll see who we can petition to get your jersey in, the, in those rafters, Jeremy. Don't worry about it. It's not worth it. Here's Adoro down the lane, puts it up. No good, but he's fouled. And Adoro, it's funny, we're talking about alma maters and talking about his improvement. He was part of that really good Paul to Six program in D.C., who's won a few WCACs under Glenn Farello. Again, so a lot of talent and played against a lot of talented kids as well. So he's shown that he can do it. He's come miles. I mean, I've seen a lot of basketball in the early going of this year, and this guy ranks amongst the most improved guys I've seen in these three days. Of course, he's going to miss that shot because I'm talking about him. <laughs> but, you know, when he went to the bench yesterday in their game against Belmont, that's when Belmont sort of changed the course of the game. And, and it speaks to, to sort of one of the things you want to consider in the early goings of your season. Maduro hits the second free throw. You know, if you're Dave Paulson, this is also a time to figure out who could play with two fouls and a half. And if he becomes one of your most important players, you might experiment with it early in the season here with keeping a guy in for longer than you normally would, even if he's got the two fouls. Moving screen on Settle. It's interesting also looking as we'll check it out right here. He never stopped. Easy whistle. He wanted, he was so eager to get that matchup with a guard on him. And now Mason as Miller hits again. Jordan Miller showing off that range from the outside. He's now four for four from three point land. And Foster tries to match. He cannot. Find the hot guy here. Miller's out on the wing. There you go. 
Heat check, not at all. He's on fire. And he is feeling it. He did not play well in the first night of this tournament. But he's played awfully well since then. Foster gets it to Wood in the corner, and that goes down. Well, they needed that. Mason had started to create a little space. Miller Kitts get back. Thought about well, it again. He, yeah, he really did. Instead, it'll be Hartwell, and he finds it. Maybe it's the spot, Chris. Perhaps that side of the floor is. That has been cash, and they're shooting a lot of threes because of that Howard zone. Eight of 16 right now for Mason. Remember, they were two of 23 yesterday in that loss to Belmont. Ali down the lane, partially blocked. He's got a shooter wide open for three out on the perimeter. He's got to kick that one out. So Mason on a run gives them a five-point lead here in D.C. at the D.C. Paradise Jam presented by the U.S. Virgin Islands. Welcome to the Virgin Islands.